Hey, stranger. How have you been? Long time no see. I took a break. Not a long break, but I took a break and uh, recorded it all. So I have a video of me and my, or maybe a couple of videos, I don't know, of me and my husband traveling around Iceland because we took a month off where we just traveled and shot and we had our rabbits with us in a tent and it was just an adventure <laughs> when we came back everything kind of went we came back running kind of so we've i haven't been able to do anything special so this is kind of the first time i'm able to sit down with you and just go over what's up what's up tell me what's up with you it's nice to have you here what well, this video is is me talking about all the fabrics that i managed to squirrel away during our travel this summer i kind of wanted to make a point of finding thrift shops along the way see what they had to offer and what was up with uh with that thing this is not sponsored by anyone i bought all these things with my own cash money so um, i don't know what to tell you but i'm gonna tell you where i got everything from this is not gonna be so much of i mean i bought some clothing items but it's not gonna be so much clothes as it's gonna be fabrics because i really 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 want to upcycle i really want to sew i really enjoy sewing so i was kind of buying with that in mind that if it's not something i can wear straight away i'm just gonna get some fabrics and make something for myself so this is bag number one this is bag number two it kind of hit me in the face we ended in borganes which is my hometown where i grew up in and i didn't really find that they did not have any fabric selection at the time i went to the thrift store there uh, but i did find this very cute I don't know what this is called that sweater <laughs> it's very just nice colored um, gonna be nice with uh, some other things so it, it's just kind of basic kind of nice just thrift it I realized when we were traveling my hair gets well <laughs> I woke up some days with a messy bird's nest for a hairdo so that came in handy to put just one of these babies on and I even <laughs> now because I woke up with a bad hair day today I just put a little bit of a roller here into the thing in front and it kind of looks like I'm all glammed up but it's just for show and the main reason everything is still in the bags is because I mean it's mostly fabric anyway so I'm not gonna wear it but I haven't been able to wash the things yet because I I think it's okay to try things on in the thrift store but i definitely want to wash them before start using them the thrift store i went to before borganes was in blundos so it was actually closed but i managed to contact the person that's operating it because they kind of just uh, during the summertime they just kind of keep it open whenever someone is able to go and open so and we drove to Blondos because we heard from the person that they could open especially for us so that was super nice super cool so grateful because i found so many nice things there uh, let's start with the scarves because i found a lot of them there i found this beautifully green one i don't feel like green is my color but whenever i wear green i kind of like it so i don't I don't know i i'm gonna i'm very excited about this one i also found this one it's just so pretty i don't know i'm i'm very excited about scarves all of a sudden i think basically i got this one because i feel like it's in everyone's collection for some reason i don't know how much i will use this one maybe a lot maybe not at all and then i'll find this a new home if i don't use it but it's just so soft and nice so i mean worst case scenario i will use this like when i'm doing a wet set or something because it's very 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 nice actually i've never had a long scarf like this 
it's just very cute, very... I don't know, it's just... I'm very happy with it. It's a little bit like it's starting to fray, so I will have to fix the ends of this. But that's not gonna be any issue, because I sew now. <laughs> Oh, Khalid, so excited. He is having the best day. Before I move on to the fabrics, I want to show you two accessories that I found that I thought were just really pretty. I found this brooch. I think it's, I think you call it a brooch. It's just a thing I would put here. It's just a little flower, a little rose. Another brooch that I found that actually might be an earring because it has the clip-on earring type on the back. But I think it's just gonna look so nice on here. Just to kind of, again, spruce up an outfit or whatever. Just give you that little bit of a... <laughs> Moving on to the fabrics. So these are the fabrics I found in Blondos. These are a uh, see-through number. I think it's just kind of always nice to have something in this color just for like an underskirt or if you want to do whatever like even turn this into a shirt even though it's a little bit sheer i don't know i kind of just like it I like the feel of it and like it gathers nicely and it's just very airy and flowy and and good so i'm i'm happy with it even though it's polyester it's nice to get something thrifted that yeah, one, two, three of this one. So this actually just might become a dress. Who knows? Another color I really don't think is my color because I'm so pale. I feel like pink just kind of make me even more weird. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't think pink is my color usually. But I found this. I think it's a duvet cover for like a like a kid or something because it's teeny tiny. But look at this the print on here is just beautiful i i feel like this would make a cute skirt or worst case scenario a wonderful apron which i'm i'm all for right now so i'm i'm happy with this the final fabric from uh the blondos thrift store the red cross store is this one here this is also curtains it's ikea curtains and it's just a stripey thing i think it could look so nice as a, a pinafore or even just a cute structured dress or just something something very nice i, I it kind of makes me happy to have it and i'm very excited what this will become if you have any suggestions and preferences for what these materials might become please leave your ideas below because i would love to hear them and if you have anything similar it's just always nice to see moving on from blundos over to sodor Kroger, i found a lot of no 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 i have a bunnies that want to pee into fabrics no no They love new fabrics and they just want to mm, this is mine now and pee into them so i try to keep them off the floor but obviously when i'm doing this it's everything is everywhere okay uh so the Kroger, yeah first fabric i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one it just it got me so excited i think it's so cute it's kind of bumblebee kind of a thing <laughs> because it's kind of yellow and and like a greenish brown i mean it's not a lot of fabric but i think it could definitely work as a shirt or maybe as some cute summer like pants i don't know i don't know it makes me happy i got this and this as well as this shirt i don't know i feel like blue is gonna be my color next winter maybe i don't know i'm trying to not be just brown I did get some more fabrics just like this one i again i don't know what it's with me and um is this called pleats what's the whatever this pattern is i was thinking worst comes to worst this again is a cute apron kind of a thing because it's a little bit coarse and doesn't 
flow super well like it could be a skirt but at the same time maybe not what are you going to be what will you become a good friend of mine maybe that's fine that's all i got from uh, shadow Kroger, but definitely the biggest haul like the biggest thrift find was the store in agorere Agurere is the second biggest town in Iceland and it's um, up north. It was so nice to go to a different thrift shop and it's also cheaper if you find things, like if you go to thrift store all around the country. I feel like the closer you move towards Reykjavik, the more expensive it's gonna get, which is frustrating and everything, but apparently that's just the way it is. So step up your game, Red Cross, because that's just strange that it's like that. I was buying all of this in the summer, so that's probably why I'm I'm like, oh, flowers, I love them, I love them, I love them. This is not a lot of fabric, but it could be nice just to, I don't know. Again, my go-to if I don't know what, what I'm gonna make with something is just like aprons, aprons all around. Uh, I haven't made one apron yet, but <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of potential to make a lot of aprons for everyone and that's just gonna be the Christmas gift this year. This is a material, I don't know what this is. It's very cool, I bought this thinking it could make a cool lining because it's kind of feel like this would be lining material, I don't know. But then I thought, what about like a cool shirt? Uh, but maybe that would look too Hawaiian shirt-like, so I don't know. This is gonna become something very beautiful and pretty one day. I just don't know what. I already do have material like this. I just think it's... And it's definitely a tablecloth, like, no shade. I, I just think it would make such a beautiful, like, a bodice or a structured dress. I mean, this dress that I'm wearing is definitely from a more hardy like thick material and i think this material would just be so pretty for something like that as well because you can see whenever you move there's like a sheen to it maybe it's just from looking down on <laughs> at the table whenever i'm eating but there's just something i feel like this has potential maybe i'm wrong i'm just i gotta find out to see if i'm completely wrong or not but I couldn't resist getting one more of these fabrics. And yeah, I just think it's very, very, very nice. Next one was definitely a curtain, which like I I'm saying, to me, fabric is fabric. Maybe that's gonna be something I'm a couple of months from now gonna look back to and be like, girl, you're so wrong. Why the hell did you buy all of this? But I just, Beautiful fabric is beautiful fabric, and whatever the... Like, I'll, I'll just figure out the correct material, like the correct thing to make from it. I don't know, I just... I'm still learning, so let me, let me live. Um, this next one is kind of a watercolored, faded, beautifully pink, purpley kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just think this would make such a cool, cool item. I think it might be cotton blended because it feels kind of like a bed sheet. To me, it's just very beautiful. I got two pieces of this, so it's gonna become something pretty and nice. I feel like the time will come when I will make something structured, and this is kind of the material that I think will go into that. Even if it's gonna be like a jacket, I think this is gonna be the material that I have for that. It's kind of like a blazer type of material is very hefty very nice and it's just like a basic white color it's not maybe it's a little bit off white but i mean i got this brown it's a little bit stretchy but not too much i thought this could make like a nice blouse like a brown little thing or a shirt whatever <laughs> i think it's just nice so this is something I don't know if I'm gonna make something for myself. Again, because I don't really feel like pink is my color. I do have some pink clothing and it's more that it has sentimental value to me than something I really would buy, I think. 
but this dusty rose fabric was just beautiful i don't know i couldn't just let it pass me by so i just i'm <laughs> i got two pieces of this i don't know how big they are but i could make something definitely very cool maybe a little bit modern sporty i don't know cool with this i found curtains that are in black i think it's ikea curtains it's very airy and it's kind of a suede texture to it so i think this would actually be like a nice dress or skirt in black that's not like heavy or thick or bulky so and it has like a beautiful gathering to it and movement and everything so i'm just happy to have it it's pretty i think it's nice i i don't know what this is it's kind of olive green i feel like this would be a great cloak or kind of something you throw over like a because the color of it is just also very great so i think this might be some type of hobbit sea clothing kind of thing is a little bit velvety it's kind of like faux fur but with like super 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 short hairs i don't know how to describe it other than that uh, but it's like olive green i think it's beautiful beautiful material can you see it it's my hobbit cloak i think it will become that wait did the hobbits have hoods do you know when you look at inspirations and it's like everyone's making these fancy victorian dresses with these extravagant materials and everything is like golden and beautiful and you find this and you buy it but you have no idea what to make because gold maybe one day i'll make one of those very very extravagant dresses where i can dress in gold or maybe i can make a cape in gold that's kind of a lot i love it i don't really have big enough living room to run around like this the bunnies are angry <laughs> they're not happy with me the last fabric i have in this show and tell is uh, this uh, baby here that it kind of feels like lining but it actually might become something else i think the print is super super nice um i don't know if it's for me it's a little bit 90s correct me if i'm wrong the camera just cuts so these are the boots i got in Husvik, and it's probably one of the best thrift finds i've ever found <laughs> um you'll see more of them in the travel video i'm currently editing that as we speak and it's probably going to be two or three parts because it's a lot of material it's a whole month of traveling so i think this will have to wait until another good day hey just to give you context of the giant big bag uh, behind me um this is even more fabric that i got gifted on our travels um, so I didn't go through all that because it's even more fabric and this is getting pretty long anyway so <laughs> just to give you context okay and here are some other materials that I I'm not really gonna talk about but I bought <laughs> If you have any suggestions for what I should make with any of these, please let me know. I'm very interested in hearing what you might think would be nice and cute if it doesn't pop into my head. So I'd love to hear from you. Um, otherwise, I hope you have... <sighs> Why am I out of breath? I hope you have a great evening and thank you for being here. Until the next one. Bye! <laughs>